Wasi Novdek 2018. The area of a sector of a circle of radius 12 centimeters is 132 centimeters squared. If the sector is folded such that its straight edges coincide to form a cone, we are finding the radius of the base of the cone. So this is the area given to be 132 centimeters squared and the radius of the sector is 12 centimeters. Now we can use the area because we will be needing the angle of the sector so we can use the area of the sector to find the angle of the sector so we know area of the sector is equal to the angle of the sector which is theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared now um, r is the radius so we substitute these values 182 centimeter squared which is the area of the sector is equal to theta over 360 degrees times pi is given to be 22 over 7 so the radius is 12 centimeter squared this implies that 132 centimeter squared you know this is also in centimeter squared so it will cancel out so we are having 132 is equal to um, let me of 144 12 square will give us 144 12 square give us 24 times 22 times the theta all over 360 times 7 so we want to solve for theta the angle of the sector so we have 132 over 1 is equal to this whole thing so we cross multiply to obtain 132 times 360 degrees times 7 is equal to 144 times 22 times theta now divide both sides by 144 times 22 uh, 144 times 22 so we have theta to be equal to 105 degrees so that is the angle of the sector of the set circle but we need to find the radius of the base of the cone we need to find the radius of the base of the cone so we know that this is the ang angle which we just found that is the angle of the sector that we just found now if the sector is folded then the length of the sector will be equal to the base of the cone so you now the length of the sector is given by theta over 360 times 2 pi r and the base of the cone is given by 2 pi r that is the length of the base of the cone which is the circumference is 2 pi r so we cancel out the common factors to obtain r theta over 360 degrees is equal to r which is the radius of the cone that we are looking for the radius of the base of the cone now we know this angle to be equal to 105 degrees so we substitute the radius and the angle theta to find the radius of the base of the cone so this simplifies to 7 over 2 therefore the radius of the cone is equal to 3.5 centimeters now we have the circle center O and the radius is 5 cm. The length of the cord is P is 6, so half of H will be 3 cm H. So we use the Pythagoras theorem to find the distance of the cord from the center. So it is given by 5 squared is equal to 3 squared plus O n squared. This will give us 25 is equal to 9 plus O n squared. And this will give us 25 minus 9 is equal to O n squared. And this will be equal to 16 equal O n squared. We take the positive square root of both sides to obtain 
root of 16 is equal to O n. Therefore, the distance of the cord from the center is equal to 4 centimeters. Now, we use trigonometry to find this angle, which is half of P O Q. Half of P O Q. Now, we know, we know that sine theta, which is half P O Q, so sine of half P O Q, sine of half P O Q is equal to opposite, which is 3 centimeters, 3 centimeters over 5 centimeters, which is the radius and the hypotenuse, so this will give us 0 0.6. So we take sine inverse of both sides to obtain half angle POQ is equal to sine inverse of 0.6. So angle POQ, angle POQ is equal to 2 times sine inverse. This is sine inverse, sine inverse, sine inverse of 0.6, and this will give us 73.74 degrees. So this is the I I part and this is the I part. Now, if you can still see this red thing here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.